Alright, welcome back to another episode of Indy's Kingdom. I know it's been a while since the last episode, and uh, the reason for that was I didn't really know if I wanted to continue the Minecraft series or not, or I didn't know what direction to take my channel in. But I've gotten a little bit more comfortable now making like little informational videos about like the design and things of video games. And I thought now would be a good time to bring back the Minecraft series just to have something that I'm making videos about in the background. And as I know, there's like a few weeks in between each of my videos I make. So hopefully Minecraft, these Minecraft videos can like fill in the gaps a little bit. And the first thing you probably notice is my I updated my skin again. To be the new and improved Endy. You got a little flower in her hair and everything. And I also have the uh, the 15th anniversary cape on as well. I got some upgrades to my appearance. I think this is the same diamond armor I was wearing last time. We have quite a few things to go over, because there's been a lot of... I've been playing on this world a lot since the last episode. And so this, uh, this part might just be a little tour slash update of things I've done in the world since my last recording. One of the big things is I've gotten netherite from the nether and upgraded some of my diamond tools to be fully kitted out now. So I have two pickaxes, one of fortune and one of silk tuts upgraded, and I have my axe. Since I mined so many trees in this world, I figured an axe would be a good next step to upgrade. And in the meantime, I've extended the farmland up to where I think I might end end the fields there. I think it is going to go, I, I'm gonna, still going to expand it up towards that hill there, but I've expanded it over there to, to, to the point to where I think I'm happy with it. And as far as the house is concerned, I added a little jukebox, because now I've gotten some music discs. As well as I added some barrels to put all my resources in now. Because they actually filled up both of the double chests that were on top of the crafting table, so I had to move them into their own little spots here. They have a good amount of stuff here. And all my treasure stuff I put in here, including those music discs. And all kind of other like, things, like a whole bunch of armor trims. There's netherite upgrades, which is how I upgraded my tools here, and I'll probably get into that at some point in the future. Some wither skulls, only one away from being able to summon the wither. Which I don't know if we're going to do that anytime soon, but we'll see. Um, I think the last thing I recorded that I built was this potion room over here. Which I've actually been using a lot a lot because I've been going to the nether a lot and crafting a bunch of... Uh, see, where are they at? Yeah, fire resistance potions. So some of these are worn down a little bit. But I got so many of them built in here. They'll last me a long time still. And also from those trips to the nether, I have a lot of... Soul Swede enchanted books to put on some like gold boots I'll craft at some point. And I also crafted an ender chest you might have saw and I put like some important stuff in here. So in case I ever need any of these resources and like I'm out and far away from these stuff I can like place this down and then just grab it from anywhere. And then also use my silk touch pick to pick it up real quick. It's, it's helped, it's been a lot more convenient just having like a little extra inventory. Cause yeah, there's been so many times where I'm like, oh man, I'm out of torches, or man, I just need some wood to craft something real quick. And the inner chest has saved me. These these downstairs room, rooms are still empty. I'm still not sure what to do with these. So if we can, the tree from the potion room kind of grew down here. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. One thing I I did update was the uh, this staircase here that goes down to the basement, which I think I I think I built all of this off camera. Yeah, there's a basement down here, the Limesfield storeroom. I was mining down so many trees that I needed like an extra storage room for all of this like dirt and stuff I was terraforming and cutting down trees. So all these chests are like just extras that I can't fit upstairs. I don't remember where all this clay came from, but it's in there. I have like little windows to look out into the back. And then this will be an expansion at some point once I run out of room there. Maybe add some other things down here, I'm not sure yet. And outside, I've added some glowstone underneath all these bushes I was building. And now it's nice and lit up, lit up all around the island without using like any torches, which is awesome. I don't remember if I built this on camera or not, but it's like a little tree. Which I am horrible at building custom trees. But I think it looks okay. I put like a little swing set in here too. Yeah, I think I did an okay job of it. <laughs> it fills its purpose. 
One of the big things I recently did was I remove, removed this entire island that was over here. And eventually I'm going to mine down deeper so it actually looks like a deep lake, but right now it's literally just the dirt that was behind or under the island. I also built this little dock so I can row my boat out to the other dock I built over there, which I'll show you in a minute. If I turn around back here, I built a little like cellar entrance over here because I was running back and forth over there. I got tired of like having to run all the way around. So I just built this little door here to be like a back entrance to the house. This leads to the storeroom down here. And the only part remaining of the island is that little pillar of dirt with the lightning rod, so lightning doesn't strike any of the houses around here. And I also did update some of the outside of the house, because I didn't like how it looked before. And it looks a little better, but there's still I still want to do something with that empty space up there. Yeah, I added lanterns and like brought the logs out one and like outlined it. It looks a lot better than it did before. Now going across the bridge here, our villagers are still safe and sound over here in their little stores or shops. I don't think I've added anything up there. Yeah, the skeleton farm and whatever the other farm was is still up there, untouched. I still use those to repair my tools with the mending. I've been treading with these guys a lot. I think there's, yeah, extras in here. Getting a lot of the golden carrots to keep myself fed. Building all this stuff. And the old mending things house is still there unchanged. The main things I did were all over here past the barn house. Like I expanded all this farmland. And added more little uh, lamp posts to light it all up. And it goes all the way to just about behind the barn house. And I added these. I also added like little uh, rivers of water here. So it's like this is where all the water that's watering the crops comes from. It was a little like too thin to put crops there to be able to run through, so I just put water in it. I think it looks nice. The signpost. We go past the barn here, and up up there is going to be the next project I'm probably going to record soon. Which is going to be like a little pig pen, like a mud filled pig pen up here. I already have it like dug out and ready. I'm probably going to grow like a mangrove tree. Put a bunch of mud in here and have like, a, this is where our pig farm is gonna be. That's probably gonna be the next thing I'm gonna work on. And all this stuff that doesn't have anything growing on it yet is gonna be a beetroot. I just only have two beetroot seeds on me, so I have to wait for it to grow and slowly expand it across. But I did this cool little thing where there was this big area of water up here. And so I decided to make like the rivers that flow down through the farm into this pond down here. I have like a little like, really pretty looking area here. Instead of spending all this time talking, I think going forward in the series, I think I'm going to do a lot less talking. Unfortunately, because I just don't... I don't know, I find it hard to talk while I'm, while I'm building and stuff. I don't think it's a big deal to have, like, sections, like, at the beginning of the video where I talk a bunch, and then the rest of the video I just, like, build with some, like, nice music. I think that would be a good, like, way of doing it in the future. Just because I'm not, I don't, I, I, I struggle with talking in these videos, and I think, I don't know, I just want to talk less, I guess. Yeah, this is where the farm ends here. I have little, like, bushes lighting it up, and then this bridge here. And this cool waterfall, like, none of this was here before, it was just, like, I think the lake ended, like, right around there. And then all of this was land, and I decided to put a bridge in the lake here from waterfall. And then I even added like that that spore blossom to give like little particles. I think it's like this is probably one of my, one of my favorite areas. This is like really like this really, really pretty area here. What well, this path leads to is another bed bench I made so I can like sleep, which will be soon as the sun's coming down. And over in this direction is the Limefield Cemetery I built. And this was a cool little project I always wanted to do with like the the dark oak trees. And just completely cover like connect them all with leaves, make like a completely roofed forest. I have like this like twilight forest kind of vibe. And I think this is where I'm gonna like where I'm gonna document all of my deaths in this world. So far I've only died once, thankfully, so there's only one grave here. But if we have like any pets or anything in the future die, unfortunately, I'll have like we'll add them all to the gravestones here. So they won't they won't ever be forgotten. Hopefully I don't have to fill any of these up, but this is just a cool little thing to have, like a history of the world. Since it's getting nighttime here, I might as well use this bed bench real quick to sleep away tonight. 
I'm definitely going to add more of these bed benches around because I need one like near the farm somewhere because I'm always having to run over here to sleep. I don't remember where I got this idea from. It was some YouTuber. I stole the idea from who made these like bench bed things so you can always have somewhere to sleep nearby. And I really like the idea. I'm going to add more of these throughout the world. Anyway, if you follow this path through the cemetery, this leads to a pretty cool area on the other side. So there's this back entrance here, and this is where I'm kind of unfinished. There's gonna be a big stone bridge that goes through this like ravine that I kind of half man-made, half like terraformed, because there was like a indent between the two mountains here, and I just connected them, made this big ravine. And this this uh, stone wall bridge will be like the like the other border to the lime field. Like over there is gonna be like the jungle themed area, and this will probably be the border between them. And over here I'm probably going to build like a like an old church of some kind. I'm going to have to do a lot of terraforming because this mountain was like a lot smaller than I thought it was when I built the bridge and everything. Yeah, I might just make this all like one big flat area right up to the jungle and like make a big church over here. Right next to the cemetery. I think that'll look cool. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to hop on down here. I think uh there's this like cool little like there's this mountain surrounding this whole little forest here i think i make like some kind of town here like some kind of halloween town or something since it's next to the cemetery and stuff and it's like hidden away i'll have to clear out all these trees like i said upgraded my axe just so i can mine more trees faster i'll have to see what it looks like after that but yeah this is definitely some kind of be like some kind of halloween themed area over here i really want to do that like halloween town kind of vibe and this this path will eventually split off, and this will lead to a. Uh, I think I'm gonna call it Brownvale, even though it's kind of a basic name. It's gonna be like all of the the brown district. I think over here is gonna be like a fishing town at some point, because there's there's this really cool like uh, lake with a bunch of jungle trees on, on top of it. I kind of want to make like some kind of like big fishing town or something over here. If I could just go through this bamboo, I'm gonna have to like tear down all this bamboo and like get a, a judge of the land. Yeah, there's this really cool island there I could plant some jungle trees on and like have like bridges over the, the river like, going between the jungle trees. I, just, I can just imagine my head being really cool. Yeah, that's what made me want to build over here is like this big jungle tree on a floating island. I'm probably gonna like plant several jungle trees and like plant them really big and like have this big central platform. And like have a bunch of bridges going out and like have a bunch of docks and this will be like a, p a fishing town. I said I have big plans, this is not right now. <laughs> I, to, I want to finish Limefield, or at least get Limefield pretty developed before I move on to other places. And you know, I think I just passed some melons. Which I've been using, in case you don't remember, or in case this is your first time watching my Minecraft series, um, I'm making every, like different areas based on different colors. So all of that farm area is going to be the lime area. And I'm going to make a green area, and it's going to be a brown area. I'm just going to make like a different like different areas based on each of the colors like minecraft colors so i think like, like there's 16 of them there's 16 different areas so i try to use blocks that are in that colors areas like all, all the lime green blocks in the game all the green blocks in the game all the brown blocks just because i think that's like a cool idea you know, like make the area look like really novel and, and just interesting yeah, this works out because this, this mountain that the church is going to go on goes right up against the jungle here. and It's a good border. And as I was doing, let's hop back down here. And walk through this ravine path. Which I'll have to decorate more, put some more trees down here. And then the big stone bridge is going to be here. It's a border. And oh yeah, and another trick I've been learning to do is I've been playing glowstone underneath moss. So it lights up this whole area without needing any torches. And I think it's a really cool effect because you don't even like really notice it when you're running by, hidden by the grass. So it's a good way of lighting up this area for no mobs to spawn without having to put like a lamp post every five blocks. And then this path leads to the other dock. So where I can just I can like use a boat to go back and forth between the house really quickly if I need to. Which originally I was gonna keep the island and have like two bridges across connecting them but as I was thinking it out in my head I didn't think it looked really good so I just decided to you know get rid of the whole thing 
I might add like something in the middle of the lake here. Like put some put some kind of like I don't know big fountain or big tree in the middle. Because having this huge lake is cool, but I need like uh, it'd be cool to have some kind of feature in the middle. Something to look at. Oh, and there's an Enderman here. Oh, Andy's gone. So yeah. Actually, I'm gonna fight him. I need Ender Pearls. Yeah, come on. Where'd he go? I guess he's gone. Oh, there he is. There we go. And I got his clay block too. Alright, no Ender Pearls though, unfortunately. I say I've been kind of getting ready to go to the end of it at some point, because having a lighter to fly around will be nice. I'm not planning on going there for a while. Again, before I forget, like I was saying, I terraformed all this. And up here I added, I was like, oh, I need some place for this waterfall to be coming from. So I added this giant pond up here. I'm eventually going to decorate it with like fish and stuff, right? but right now I added like, you know, those moss lights around. I think it looked really pretty, and also this is where all the water that the water all the crops come from because I added like waterfalls down there that leads into it too. It was a nice way of like having a source from all, like, where all the water is coming from. And these, these, these cool two waterfalls. Uh, I'd like to have a path that goes through here. But I think this is gonna be like this is gonna be right up on the border of Limesfield because I'm not planning on expanding. I'm not. I don't want to expand any more further into the forest here. So I'm probably gonna build like a little wall to mark off. And it'll make it easier for me to like light it up in here. So I can be like, okay, so this is outside lines field, this is inside, so no mobs can get in. Build a little wall and then a little pathway here. Like the wall will probably go right up to like the end of the uh cemetery there. And something really cool is that there's a huge I ended up to uh breaking this out and letting the lake fall a little bit, and I still have to terraform just to add a river going all the way down. But over here, this was natural. This is like a really deep cave system underwater here that I can connect it to. And that, that just so happened to be here, so that'd be really cool to build on later. Build a little river here. And you might have noticed that the cemetery isn't even done yet. <laughs> I still need to like add this wall here, and it's probably going to end here because it goes into like kind of a cliff here. And this will be work as another uh, lion's field border. I'll put that little wall down there or something and light it up down there. And that'll be the end of where I build in this area for now. And I think that's everything I've built off camera so far. I just wanted to give a good overview so people aren't, aren't watching my videos and see something in the distance and be like, Hey, what is that? I didn't see you built that and stuff like that. So yeah, I think my future plans are build a pig pen. I still need to build a uh, chicken coop. I have a pig and chicken farm. Um, grow all these beetroots to so have a beetroot farm there and then i want to add some uh a big thing i need to do is add some windmills around here and some more houses in the fields like over here is a big empty space i need to build a house and a windmill and those windmills aren't just going to be for decoration's sake i have a a function too since this is why i'm building them sooner rather than later and that functionality is in this chest here with all of these wheat seeds i keep getting from harvesting the wheat fields by the villagers there. I don't. I have nothing to do with all these wheat seeds. And I want to start composting them into bone meal. That takes forever. It's like clicking a composter over and over and over again. So inside of the windmills, I want to, I want to put like an automatic composting thing where I put the seeds in a chest and it turns into bone meal and puts the bone meal in a chest. And then like put that around wind, inside of windmills scattered around the fields there. So once I harvest everything, I can just like go to the windmill and dump it all in there. And come back later for some like useful bone meal. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna continue this episode. I think this is just a more like an update video. Like, hey, this is what's going on. Minecraft is coming back. Hooray! Uh, and giving a little tour of how things are going so far. And uh, yeah. <laughs>